The degree to which alcohol is normalized and other substances like psychedelics demonized is disturbing. We live in a society where alcohol consumption is, for the most part, encouraged and seems like a cool thing. If you're at a college party and you're not drinking, you are an anomaly. If you're not there to get wasted, then what are you even doing? You aren't down to have a few beers with the boys? Pfft, you're no fun. For many people, the act of blacking out becomes something to brag about, or if you can't handle a lot of alcohol, you're made fun of and given the label of lightweight. It just doesn't make sense that excessive alcohol use is encouraged in many social situations and that the severe negative effects of it are often overlooked. All the while, if someone learns about somebody doing shrooms, which is far less toxic to the body than alcohol, and can potentially have life-changing positive impacts on a person, they'll label them as a tweaker or druggie. It just doesn't make sense, man. Now, I don't make this video with the intent of bashing alcohol culture and saying alcohol is the devil or anything like that. Alcohol is something that has persisted in human culture for centuries. People love their alcohol. It's an excellent way to celebrate and connect with others. There's many parts of alcohol culture that are great, but there's also many, many aspects that aren't so good. And for someone like me who has had their life changed for the better by a highly illegal substance, see something as debilitating as alcohol be encouraged in society, while the very substances that changed my life demonized, well, it makes me a little mad. Psychedelics such as LSD and magic mushrooms are listed as Schedule 1 drugs in most countries, which gives them the highest class of illegality. Most countries define this class of drugs as having no medicinal or therapeutic value while maintaining a high potential for abuse and or addiction. Anyone who is familiar with these substances knows that in no way, shape, or form do they fit this Schedule 1 description. Psychedelics have shown immense value in providing fresh, new perspectives that have given many people inspiration for living a better life. They've shown time and time again in improving various mental disorders such as depression. They have virtually no addictive potential. You simply just don't hear about people having addictions to psychedelics. You just don't. And they also have an extremely low toxicity within the body. However, with alcohol, there really isn't any medicinal or therapeutic value. You're not going to become a healthier person if you drink alcohol. You're not going to work through your deep life problems with alcohol. If anything, you'll probably only make them worse, as the reason many alcoholics use alcohol is to escape their problems. And speaking of alcoholism, alcohol also has a fairly high potential for abuse, as an estimated 15 million Americans suffer from an alcohol use disorder. And these addictions can be debilitating and can be very difficult to break. Alcohol is also much more toxic for the body as the LD50 for alcohol is about a 0.45% blood alcohol concentration, which can be achieved for the average person through taking 13 shots of a 40% concentrated drink very quickly. It isn't terribly hard to achieve this, which is why thousands die each year of alcohol poisoning. However, with psychedelics such as LSD and magic mushrooms, their toxicity is extremely low. There is no known LD50, and there have been no cases of anyone ever dying from overdose. With alcohol's toxicity and addictive potential, people who regularly drink alcohol are at a much higher risk for liver damage, throat and mouth cancer, cardiovascular disease, malnutrition, severe addiction, and more. So clearly alcohol fits that Schedule 1 description much more so than psychedelics, yet it's legal, and psychedelics are not. So government, if you're making psychedelics illegal, by that definition, alcohol should also be illegal as well. So do I actually think alcohol should be illegal? No. Like I said, I'm not here to bash alcohol and alcohol culture. I hope using alcohol as a way of social bonding continues forever. It's convenient. You can have a couple drinks, be a little more loose, and have a better time. I'm just putting the word out there that if alcohol is deemed legal, so should psychedelics. And I'm not saying psychedelics should be viewed like alcohol or used in similar ways to alcohol. If people use psychedelics like they did alcohol, that would be a literal nightmare. The main reason society hates on psychedelics so much is because the vast majority of people have this concept in their heads that all drugs are bad and drugs should be avoided at all costs. So when it comes to the concept of drugs, many people lumped substances like LSD with actual horrible drugs like heroin and meth. I myself did this for most of my life, until I did research and tried out a psychedelic for myself. 
In addition to this lumping together of drugs, many people also associate psychedelics with party, rave, and or hippie culture, and they might acknowledge that psychedelics aren't as debilitating as other substances, but they still associate them with these weird groups that they want no part in. What very few people seem to realize is that there are thriving communities online and in real life that use psychedelics for the sole purpose of improving themselves, exploring their minds, and expanding their consciousness. Completely normal, intelligent, productive members of society using psychedelics for personal development. When used safely in the correct set and setting, there is little to no worry of potential harm. But sadly, many people don't respect these substances, which leads to people hearing stories about someone on acid running outside naked and screaming or something. And stories like these only reinforce the negative stigma around psychedelics in society. Now imagine an ocean. The surface represents a breakthrough in the overall collective consciousness in realizing that psychedelics can be an incredibly valuable tool. I'd say currently as a society, we are about halfway between the ocean floor and the surface. The psychedelic stigma used to be at the ocean floor, where virtually everyone demonized it and no one saw the value in it. But during the 21st century, more and more people, especially well-respected famous people such as Joe Rogan, have been preaching the value of these previously hated on substances, and each person who has their mind changed is slowly bringing that psychedelic stigma up to the surface. And eventually, if enough people have their mind changed, will break through the surface of the water, and eventually society will no longer be able to deny their value, and will likely start legalizing them in some form. This is exactly what happened with marijuana. It was demonized. People would be arrested just for possessing the substance, and it was listed as a Schedule one drug just as many psychedelics are. But eventually, marijuana's value could just no longer be ignored. Now it's been legalized in many countries, and it is beginning to be legalized in many others. I'm predicting the same type of thing with psychedelics, and in a sense it's already beginning to happen as plant-based psychedelics, which includes ayahuasca and shrooms, have just been decriminalized in the past year in two California cities, Oakland and Santa Cruz. The stigma around psychedelics is getting closer to reaching that breakthrough point. We're not there yet, but the future is looking bright, it just takes time. If our society is so easily able to encourage the use of a harmful and potentially addictive substance in alcohol, society also should be able to see the value in psychedelics. There will likely be resistance from certain groups and organizations when it comes to potentially legalizing psychedelics, as pharmaceutical companies could lose billions of dollars per year as many people would move to psychedelics, a significantly less profitable medicine than typical prescription pills, as a means of combating various mental disorders. It also probably isn't in the government's best interest to have a lot of people taking psychedelics. I'll leave you with this quote from Terence McKenna. Psychedelics are illegal not because a loving government is concerned you may jump out a third story window. Psychedelics are illegal because they dissolve opinion structures and culturally laid down models of behavior and information processing. They open you up to the possibility that everything you know is wrong. Do what you will with that quote, but that's all for this video. Hopefully this video helps move the psychedelic stigma closer towards breaking through that ocean surface. As always guys, have a great day and peace.